Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, session 3 on working with R programming. It's an introductory course on R programming. So in the previous sessions we saw how to install R and R Studio and we also had an overview of R programming. So in today's session I am going to show you how to actually work with R Studio. Now R Studio is actually the IDE or the integrated development environment of R. So let's see how to work on R Studio and create some simple programs and try to execute them. So now let's move on to the R Studio. See in order to work on R Studio you have to just click on this uh, R icon which is available on the taskbar. Now you can see that the R Studio gets opened up. Now the first thing you need to do here is you have to basically create a project. So what I'll do is I'll go to file and say new project. When you create a new project it is actually going to take you into a wizard where it is going to ask you three options new directory, existing directory and version control. So in this case I am going to choose the existing directory. Now you can choose where you want to make your project working directory inside your hard drive. So in this case I am giving here as g colon dc mb and test so you can name whichever folder you want you can go to browse and set that particular directory as your working directory. Now in this case my project working directory is uh, named as test so instead of test I can give whatever name I want and uh, I can use a different name if needed so then I can go and hit on create project. Now the project gets uh, created. Now this is the initial uh, R Studio environment screen what you are going to get. So here you can see that there are three windows here. Now this is the first window which you see the larger window here and you have the second window here where it says environment is empty and you have the third window here. But generally IDE gives us four windows. So if you want to see the fourth window where you can actually see the script. So just click on this button here. Now you can see four windows here. Now the first window what you can see here this window where my mouse is moving. This window is called as the code editor window. And the second window what you can see here is called as the console window. Okay and the third window what you can see here is actually called the workspace and the history window and finally you have the plots and files window. So the totally your entire IDE is divided into four sections where each section will have certain tasks to do. Now what is the basic idea of having all these sections? See you can make use of the script window and the console window to type in the R commands. Remember R is an interpreter. So you have to execute the commands line by line. So for example let me go to the console window. Suppose if I say that I want to declare a variable called a is equal to 10. So I simply say a is equal to 10 and I simply type a. Now I can see that a variable called a whose value equal to 10 has been initialized and I am printing the value of a. So simply by mentioning the value of a the value gets printed or you can also say print a. This also is allowed. So when you say print a you can see the value of a is being printed. Now one thing you need to understand in a console terminal or a console window is you cannot make any modifications here. Suppose if I want to make this variable a as variable b I cannot go back and make modifications. That is one of the reasons we generally don't use a console window. So for that reason to make you to write programs usually so we make use of a script window. So what is a script window? A script window is a window where you can actually type in your R scripts. Remember any program you write in R is called as an R script. Like how you call it a C program or a C++ program and R program is generally called as an R script. So here I am going to declare a variable say I will say x is equal to 10. Now I want to display the value of x so I will say print x. Now if I want to execute these two lines of code so how should I execute this? First I have to execute line number 1. So what I have to do is I have to uh, basically hit on this run command. So I can see that the value of uh, x is initialized to 10 and when I say print x 
it is actually printing the value of 10. Now this is how you basically execute line by line. Either you can use the run the button here in order to execute a line of code or you can use control and enter. See for example, I'll say print something like this. Welcome to R. Now I want to execute this line of code. I will use the control key and the enter key. So it gives me the output welcome to R. Now observe what is happening on the right side. So you have your environment window where you can see the values x, a and x are being defined here. So these are the variables and those values can be seen here. So whatever variables you are creating, all those variables can be inspected in your environmental window, which means it is a very useful technique to have a track of the program. It is going to actually help you to debug the program in case if you are encountering any logical errors. Okay, now having understood this, that you can create a variable and you can display the value of a variable. Now there are different ways of creating uh, variables in R. Unlike any other programming language where we, you, where we make use of an assignment operator. Now when I say x is equal to 10, you have that equals to there. Equals to is called as an assignment operator where the value of 10 gets assigned to x. Now in case of R, you have there are different ways of you know assigning the value of a variable and it is actually so easy because you can make things much more easier your programming becomes much more easier in r so one way of assignment is called as you know leftward operator assignment so how do i do that so i'll just show it's a simple thing so what we need to do is we'll say x and we'll use an left arrow and 10. Now this means you are actually assigning a value called 10 to x. So already x has been initialized to 10. I will take another variable here. So probably I will take it as say p. So p is assigned a value called 10. So when I run this, you can see that you can see that a value called or a variable called p is created on your environmental window. Now I can print the value of p. So I can say print p or I can simply say P and hit on the run. So you can see that the value called 10 gets printed out. Now this is one, va one way of you know assigning the value to a variable, what we call it as an leftward operator. So leftward operator means the operator where you have the arrow pointing towards the left side. Now one more way of you know assigning a value use is using a rightward operator. So how do we use a rightward operator? I can say 90 is equal to y. Or I can say 90 rightward operator y. So what does it mean? You are assigning 90 to a variable called as y. So I can just print the value of y. So I'll execute this statement. I'll execute this statement. Now you can see that you have 90 being printed onto the console. So now you can see that you have four variables, a, p, x, and y which has been created and you can see the values of these four variables in the environmental window. Now this is how you basically do assignments to variable in R and like any other programming languages uh, there is a concept of uh, you know multivariable assignment also. So I can say uh, something like this. So I can say A is equal to the value of B and this will actually equal to 89. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to store a value called 89 to two variables a and b and I'm using an leftward operator here. So when I press an enter key see you have to run this particular command so you can see that the a and b two variables are created here and you can see that their values has been initialized to 89. So if I want to print the value of a and b, so I'll say print a. So I'm going to say print a. When I say print a, you can see that 89 gets printed and I can also print b and I can see the value of b. So I'll say print b. Now you can see that the value of b is printed. So now this is how you basically make use of multiple uh, assignments in R. And always remember in R, every variable is called as an object. We will talk about this in the next session. A variable is a variable in any other programming language 
but in r and other programming languages what we have today some of the advanced uh, programming languages like python everything is treated as an object so even a variable is treated as an object so we will talk about that in the later uh, part of uh, this training program but at this point of time understand that the variables hold a value and there are different ways of actually giving values to a variable okay now having said that uh, you can also delete an variable that's a very important thing you need to know now i have four or five variables which have been defined here one is a b p x and y let's say that i no longer require the variable called as x so i need to delete it so how do i delete a variable so i'll say rm rm stands for remove and i'm going to give the name of a variable x so you need to run this uh, line of code so you can see that that line of code has been successfully executed now you can see that you don't find a variable called x in the environmental window so you can like this delete a uh, variable of your choice and if i want to list down all the variables which i have created in my console so i can use a method called ls so i'll say print print ls so when i say ls what happens ls is basically a function so you are trying to print all the variables you have created so you can see the output here a b p and y so it's the same as what you are seeing here in your environmental window so ls method basically helps you to actually print down all the uh, variables what you have created in your r script current r script now we have focused on three windows one is your script window where you have actually typing the programs and you are seeing the output in the console window and you are seeing the variables uh, which have been created in the environmental window and you have left with one more window which is called as an plot and the files window now one more thing in the environmental window is you can also see what is there inside this history tab so when i go to the history tab i can see whatever commands i have given in the script window so there are multiple number of tabs which are available in the environmental window and you can make use of these tabs when you are doing advanced programming in r now one of the main advantage of using the plot and the files window is you can create graphs in r one of the main advantages of using r is for data visualization see data science is all about data visualization analytics is all about data visualization so i want to visualize the data so how do i visualize the data the data is actually visualized using pictorial representation of a data and pictorial representation of the data is actually done through graphs so i'll give you one simple example of how a graph is created so i'll show you a simple xy plot you know that a graph a two dimensional graph i'm talking would basically have an x coordinate and a y coordinate so i'll make use of a plot function in r so i'll say plot and i'll say 10 comma 12 so that means i'm trying to plot a graph with coordinate position 10 comma 12 where 10 being the x axis and 12 being the y axis now when i run this you can see a small graph which is being created here and you can see that a circle has come here which is a graphical intersection and that graphical intersection has exactly happened at an intersection of 10 which is in the x axis and the intersection of 12 which is in the y axis so now you can create beautiful plots like this i have taken only one coordinate here of course you can have multiple coordinates you can have different kinds of plots like line plot scatter plot box plots etc we will learn about those plots in the future course of the session so keep watching this uh, video series you will get an very good understanding about programming in analytics as well as programming in r so this is how you create plots and you can also zoom the plot if needed so you can actually zoom the plot here and you can also save the plot for your further reference if you want to delete a plot you can just click on this uh, uh, clear all plots so when i click on clear all plots it is going to ask me for a confirmation whether you want to clear all plots so i'll say yes so the plot gets cleared so this is how you make use of r and r studio and what is important here is whatever you do has to be saved that is very important so whenever you create an r script it will always be given an default name as untitled 
so you have to go and give it a name so click on save I'm going to call this as say program 1 so when I say it as program 1 you can see that it gets saved as program 1.r so you can see that the extension of an R file is always .r so this is a simple illustration of how do you work with R studio so today you understood how to create variables in R and what are the different ways of you know creating variables in R how to display the variables and how to actually remove the variables and how to make use of the various windows which are available in the R studio so that's it for today uh, in the uh, coming session we will talk more about your variables so thank you for watching this particular session I will see you in the next session till then take care bye bye